Good evening. It's my honor to um, present the award to Ryan Mead. Ryan is an attorney and consultant in Chicago, Illinois, who focuses his professional work on health care regulatory issues. Ryan is also a law professor at Loyola University. For the HCCA, Ryan teaches at both the basic and the research compliance academies, co-chairs the research conference, and sits on the certification committee. Ryan is definitely one of the busiest people I know. I have the great opportunity of working side by side with Ryan and enjoy every minute of it. But tonight, what I'd like to do is focus on his role with Loyola. Ryan is the Director of Regulatory Compliance Studies at Loyola University Chicago School of Law. He directs the activities of the Center for Compliance Studies and teaches courses addressing both longstanding and emerging regulatory challenges. Loyola had their first compliance concentration built into their JD, MJ, and LLM programs in November of 2011. Since then, they've grown to offer uh, a total of five compliance specialties in their programs, especially focus on compliance. They are healthcare compliance, which was the first one offered and approved through the Compliance Certification Board, global compliance, privacy compliance, research compliance, and corporate compliance. Here are a few interesting facts about the Center for Compliance Studies at Loyola. They currently have over 50 regulatory compliance courses. Over 200 online MJ and LLM students studying compliance. Almost 10% of the JD law students on campus are now studying for the compliance concentration. Establish internships and externships and compliance programs to obtain experience. Started the first academic journal dedicated to compliance scholarships, the Loyola Journal of Re Regulatory Compliance, which Ryan is the editor-in-chief. They also started a student-run compliance blog staffed with 38 law students. Now for a few fun facts. Ryan speaks six languages. He speaks English, Spanish, German, Russian, Latin, and Greek. He attended Northwestern, Cornell, and also Oxford, where he studied language and law. He's an expert in canon law, and his favorite dinner is sushi from Walgreens. <laughs> Ryan also told me a cute story a while ago, and I said, are you going to tell it? And he said, no. And I said, well, I am. He said he was walking down the strip, and he had his presentation in his hand, and he was looking at it, and two pages flies down the strip. So Ryan, before this, was running down the strip to catch part of his um, acceptance speech. <laughs> So I'd like to end my uh, thoughts quoting Ryan. HCCA, SCCE established compliance as a profession. Loyola is establishing compliance as an academic discipline. We've arrived at a point where people can now get university degrees in compliance. Accepting on behalf of the many accredited programs at Loyola, Ryan Mead. Okay. Um, well, thank you, Debbie, for that wonderful introduction, and also thank you for your work with the CCB. You make our program sound so wonderful. Perhaps I want to go back to law school myself. But the first class I think I'm going to have to take is the food safety law course, <laughs> if I'm going to continue to eat sushi from Walgreens. Um, but on behalf of the Center for Compliance Studies at Loyola University Chicago School of Law, I want to thank the SCCE for giving us this award. I also want to thank the faculty and administrators who have helped us put together what I believe is the largest compliance studies program in the country. There are at least six of our faculty here at the CEI who are active in the association. Art Weiss, Ted Banks, Brian Anellis, Janice and Fossey, Joel Blumenfeld, and I also thank Joe Murphy for serving on our advisory committee. And importantly, our chief administrator of the Center for Compliance Studies Activities Lindsay Dunbar, who I wouldn't be able to accomplish anything without, and in case this is being recorded, I want to let the dean know that she needs a raise. <laughs> um, 
I'd also like to thank other close friends who are here tonight. I have known over the past couple of decades who have supported my personal efforts while developing the compliance curriculum at Loyola. There are too many to list, but I want to recognize one, Kara Murray, who has provided smooth management support in my professional career in a way no price tag or thanks could do justice. Most importantly, on behalf of Loyola, I need to acknowledge that we wouldn't have a school without students. Our students and alums are scattered around the United States. Many of our alums are here tonight. We have five current students at the CEI through the generous support of SCCE who are learning lots and network, networking quite a bit. And please hire them. Um, someone gave you a chance once, please give a, a new person into this profession a chance and you'll find it right, quite rewarding. I wanna thank one of the students in particular uh, Corinne Nerswicki, who has been the production manager for Loyola's Journal of Regulatory Compliance for the past two years, and as a JD student graduating this spring. Uh, the journal is the first law review of its kind, and we just published issue two this weekend, so I hope she's enjoying a, a, a memorable and well-deserved rest here in Las Vegas. Uh, you should hire her, too, in case you're looking for someone. Um, when I first got into compliance 20 years ago, it was accidental. Something I'm sure I share with 95% of the people in the audience. I was at a meeting with the general counsel of a client who was in a huff because the CEO had just given him the task of developing a compliance program. After he grumbled a, a bit to me about this task, he said, Ryan, do you know anything about compliance programs? I said, no. He said, do you want to learn? Well, at the time, I was a fifth-year associate at a law firm, and by that time, I knew that the number one thing not to do with a client is turn down work. So I said, sure, I'll take it on and I'll learn. I didn't think 20 years later, from that accidental adventure with compliance, I would be teaching 23-year-olds on campus who intentionally want to go into compliance or 43-year-olds online who intentionally want to transition to a compliance career. The transformation from accidental compliance careers to intentional compliance careers is one of the most remarkable professional developments I've observed in the past two decades. To close, we view our compliance studies program at Loyola as complementary to the work that SCCE and HCCA are doing. SCCE and HCCA established compliance as a profession. What we are at Loyola are, are now doing, along with our colleagues in other CCB accredited schools, is trying to make compliance an academic discipline. This is a big lift, but I think we're making great strides. I'm not saying that the world is ready for compliance schools, like law schools and medical schools, but I think the professionalization of compliance is firmly established enough that the world is ready for compliance studies programs. So thank you very much for this honor. <laughs>